Hey YouTubers, how you doing? Um, this is uh, You Don't Know Tech. I'm going to show you a little bit of how to make a sprite using GIMP 2.8. And I'm using the actual Windows version. And first, I'll just draw out a quick character here. Um, I apologize, I really don't have my drawing pad with me. I'm using the mouse, so uh, excuse me if it's a little rough. But first, you're going to start off with a transparent layer. We're gonna, uh, I'm gonna, i sorry, just duplicate this layer because we're going to um, make it quick and easy for you so you won't have to redraw this thing over and over. We can just only move parts of the body. Get the eraser. I'm going to go ahead and start erasing. No, oh, this mouse is kind of jumpy here. Uh, let me scale it up a little bit. There we go. Um... And what we're going to do when I get through erasing this arm, I'm going to put it in a different position. Because we know there's no need to move the body yet in this picture. Uh, messed up there. Let me start over here. All right. I messed around and went into the lower leg there. So I just hit the history. The undo button is a good feature in GIMP to have. All right. Next, I uh, turn it back on, and what I'm gonna do next is uh, start drawing this actual next layer with the arm actually moving. Um, select my uh, pen tool here. Um, let me turn that back on for my reference, so I won't be too far off from my first one. It's like almost like an onion skin. Uh, it's a little thick there. Uh, let me hit the back button scale down just a little bit get a little closer that's close enough alright this mouse well again I apologize about the little funky looking drawing here but I'm using my mouse uh, but I'm just trying to give you a general idea of how to actually do your sale Erase that. That was a little bit too funky. Alright. My pen tool. Go ahead and finish drawing that out. Alright, next I'm going to uh, go ahead and put my actual hand on. This one I'm going to do one. Uh, when I get further into my other tutorials, it's actually going to be holding a gun. This is one of my firing sprites here when he's actually going to be firing a weapon um, but you'll, you'll see that later on in my tool roof right here I'm going to just uh, downsize the fist because this is a little too big it's not matching the rest of his body so I'm going to downsize it here um, it's close enough to the scale mm, this arm looks a little bit too big too so I'm going to downsize the whole arm because it's way off so I'm going to go ahead and uh, downsize it. Let's turn the other layer off because it was confusing. Alrighty. Hit the lasso. Oh, come on. Hit the lasso. Go ahead and highlight the whole hand. And on. And I'm going to downscale it. Scale it down where it's closer. But in proportionate to the body. Alright. And boom, there you go. <clears throat> All right, let me click out of this. So, uh, so the next cell, you just do the same process as you uh, create each cell. You just move whatever part of the body to a different um, scene, and that's how you actually create your your animation um, sprite. So you won't waste all that time drawing that body all um, over and over again when all you got to just move is arm, basically. Um, if you know how to use GIMP, uh, pretty good. You got all the quick keys. I'm not that proficient at it yet. It's been a while since I've been using it. But if you got any comments on what keys you use, uh, mention it in the, in the links below. Or if you got even a quicker idea, just let me know. Now I'm um, coloring in with the paint bucket <clears throat> I 
see a little funky, um, the little white ends down there because my pen wasn't set up well yet. And I'm just started using this computer again. But if you've been using GIMP, you can uh, set all your pen settings so you won't have all this whiteness around your pen as you try to fill in. And I'm just doing this quickly now. shirt which is a uh, bright looking yellow so I'll go ahead and fill that in yeah this is an actual uh, game uh, game app my first time doing it, I'm gonna be doing it with construct 2 um, so uh, it's gonna be a lot of videos I'm gonna put out as I go along in my process so if you want to come back check out my process like I said give me some ideas oops let me fix this you want to give me some hints and stuff like I say just leave me my tutorials let me know what I'm doing wrong or is a quicker way to do it uh, this is steampunk Joe that's what I'm gonna call them the actual game all right um, next I'm gonna do the oh, let me fill in this rest of the shirt here all right change the color again uh, I'm gonna do the well you get the general idea of what you're gonna do I'm uh, just finish putting in the skin tones and stay tuned next I'm um, gonna be showing you how to actually set up your sprite after you get it everything colored in and we'll go from there so thanks for tuning in